it's coming up now on five years uh, since I left to go cruising. Can't even believe it, you know, quit my job to go cruising. But the funny thing is, when I was back there in Portland, sitting at the dock, drinking wine, dreaming about cruising, you know, talking to my friends, it seemed like it was so far off, like it, like it's just a dream, you know, like it's something you dream about doing. And the hardest part, I'll tell anybody this, the hardest part of going cruising is leaving the dock, cut time, tying the lines, you know, really, that's what it is. You know how to sail, right? You've learned how to sail. All it is is setting the sails in that direction and going, you know, just going get out you know you're 50 miles offshore you just keep going it becomes nighttime you just keep sailing and uh, a month later you're you've crossed an ocean you know anyway the point is you don't know what you don't know and sometimes it's you take for granted I at least I do the things that I have learned of after all these years after these five years you know and it could be really simple stupid things you know Somebody the other day posted online how they uh, couldn't get their bucket to fill up with water. I've got this little pit pail, you know, this is a bucket with a line tied onto it, and you use that, you throw it over the side, and you get water to, to do all kinds of things. If you just toss the bucket over the side, you're going to end up with an empty bucket. You have to toss the bucket over the side so it lands open and down. Then... You just pull on the rope, it pulls the handle around of the pail and lifts a bucket full of water right out of the, water, out of the ocean. Open and down. That's the trick. Uh, teak decks. I got teak decks on this boat and they get really hot. Um, it, you can tell below. If you open up the, uh, the cabinets where I keep my food and other things, you'll feel the heat in there. And it's just because of the teak decks. Now, in a cold climate like Sweden, where this boat was made, that's not probably nice in the sunshine. In the tropics, it can get really hot. It gets hot below, and it gets hot on deck. It burns your feet, they get so hot. So you use your bucket, and you fill it up with water, and you wet down the decks, and that'll help cool off the inside of the boat. Um, <laughs> simple things a uh, couple times I've come back to the boat at night and couldn't find the boat because I forgot to turn the anchor light on and um, it seems to happen well <laughs> it seems that when you're coming back to the boat late at night in the dinghy you're usually not in the best frame of mind to find your boat in the first place so I've got this light See that light behind me back up here? This light is just a $10 light or a $10 Australian light, a $7 American light. You can buy it at any hardware store. It's just a yard light. You just, you know, it's one you plant in your yard and you, it's a solar charging AA battery and it's triggered by, you know, the nighttime. Now it's not a legal anchor light. Everybody knows that, you know, you need to have one in your four peak or up on the top of the mast. But for those times you forgot to put turn, turn on your anchor light, it's nice to be able to see your boat. And if, for example, your anchor bulb failed in the night, you'd still be lit so other people wouldn't run into you. So another thing is mosquitoes. In, Mos in Australia, mozzies as they're called here, mozzies and midges, which are little sand flies that you can't see that bite you, are a nuisance, man, every evening. So, even during the night. So what I've done is I bought um, mosquito netting. You can buy this pretty much anywhere. You, in the States you can get it at Kroger's or Fred Meyer. Um, here you gotta get it at a camping store. But then what you can do is you just cut it to form fit over your port lights, opening port lights. Windows that open are port lights. Windows that don't open are dead lights, as you well know. But you can uh, cut it to fit over your port lights, and then all I do is I use some Velcro tape. It's got sticky back tape. I use the hook side, the 
you can just cut it into little pieces and you put it around the edge of the port light and then your mozzie screen just sticks to it you don't have to have any it's not it's not complicated if it wears out just cut a new piece you can pull it off you can move it you can I mean it's it works great and it's really really simple and the last thing I'll show you here is my my ghetto wind scoop this is on the bow today's a windy day and it gets hot down below you know I can't get the wind to enter the boat I know I should change move this uh, this hatch flip this hatch around so we can scoop the wind with it it's actually backwards it should be facing the other direction but I've got a towel here and I, what I've done is I just I tie it to the sheets that come off the uh, roller furl uh, jib and the bottom end is tied is uh, sewn to the uh, curtain rod down below it in the hatch and it scoops the wind down and it helps keep the boat cool so that's another little trick Kind of, you know, people can, you can buy a $60 nylon wind scoop or you can just use an old beach towel like I do. Um, so, anyway, the last thing I'll leave you with is these damn jet skis. Scourge of anchorages everywhere around the world jet skis like they <laughs> they go by as fast as they can it's like where are we gonna go we're going to go, go over there okay they get over there like now we're we gonna go well let's go over there well we just came from over there well let's go fast you know there okay now where are we gonna go well, let's go back over there <laughs> okay Quick, quick thanks to the folks who have sent me um, uh, donations based on my last video. I mean, super nice of you. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Jeff and Chris and uh, Paul. Uh, it's really nice. Um, also, uh, like and su subscribe. That helps me a little bit. Um, finally up to 1,000 subscribers, so thank you all for, for subscribing. It's only taken five years. <laughs> I don't have enough views or hours of watch time to uh, make any money off my videos, but uh, it's an accomplishment to get to a thousand subscribers, so thanks for that.